Well, well, well. Aren't you guys lucky? I get nothing to do until the Super Bowl besides playing Skyrim for you and drinking beer. What a life. I kind of looked up um, DLC quests, not DLC quests, mod quests, and whole areas we can do after we beat Skyrim, but that's a long time away, but I'm really impressed by what there is. Really, really impressed. So... I decided to do the thief guild quest line for now. Go find the tavern. I'd kill for some rock math right now. Rock math, you say? I don't need that. Ah, <laughs> uh, but what we actually need is some arrows for you, Ori. Didn't forget. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? Who among us could possibly go? The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Rothgar. Yeah, yeah, I know they did. I know they did. Hey, my friend. Welcome to War Maidens. Now, don't let the name war. We've got small weapons as well as. Take a look. Mm, okay. Oh yeah, you got the arrows. Good doing business with you. Here I am. Uh Got anything fun for me? Sure, just keep your dead plant parts to yourself. Yeah, that, those are mine. Um, Ephra's blessings. Oh. Uh. Let me guess, we have to go to Riften? Yeah, we do. Well, I don't know how to do all that with my entourage, by the way, but... Easy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. Hey, if you distract the clerk, I'll paint some goods. Got horses that need shoeing, so make it quick. Uh, must be with these Bosma walking around in fancy outfits and serving Nord Yars. Salad eaters. Uh, must be dangerous without walls. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. Not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms in all of Skyrim. Is considered a virtue. If you steal something without getting caught, you can demand payment for the item's return. I bet you're wrong. Oh, sounds like I've got a challenger. Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? You match the bet, 
and we fight until one of us gives in. <coughs> All right, remember, this is a clean fight. No weapons, no tricks. And none of those fancy magic spells either. Here we go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. <laughs> At least you're giving me light armor. I don't believe it. I guess you were right. Not at all. It's good to be put in your place once in a while. I guess I shouldn't boast so much. It gets expensive. I read about that. But why? You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right place. How did you uh, come to be as horse crusher? Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. And one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Haven't ridden since. Mm hmm. At your service. I bet you could get a good price for those gems. Gotcha. What's on your mind? There's a surprising amount of Bosma here. Okay. Do you steal anything? Not really. Gotcha. Oh, Riften, you're so much fun. How can I assist? Hmm? So what do we want to do? Steal a statue, okay. That was a sick roll. Do I need to talk to her? Please, don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. So, should I drop the statue down the well? Not Lady Debella. No, please, I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. These people seem nervous, which makes me nervous. I am here for you. 
Helga is not very nice, but I find myself attracted to her nonetheless. She smells saucy. Let us go. Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. Do you work here? Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Oh no. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? Oh, that's so bad. I'm stuck living here while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. Why do you hate Helga so much? You just told me, but why do you hate her so much? It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Uh. Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm. To rub her nose in it. There must be a way. Actually, there is. But I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the Marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Sure, I'll help you. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the Marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. Or yours. I am here for you. Hmm? If you need anything Later, else, then. just ask. Okay, we do that later. Rare trinkets and the finest oddities from Morrow. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Um. Yeah. What's your problem? What do you want? How did you meet Kavira? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. Yeah. What's your problem? I have other things to attend to. Otherwise, the experience is unappetizing. Hmm. But isn't it weird when they wriggle? Wriggle? Like eating raw fish. All flopping around, foop, flop, flip. Well, I can put them under a thrall spell first so they don't flop. Ah, that's good. I think you'd be tempted to stab them just to stop them moving otherwise. Squirming meat's no fun for anyone. Yeah. Now I'm going to think about wriggling fish every time I try and feed. We drink to Thanks, our youth, to the days <laughs> come and gone. You're welcome. The age of oppression is now nearly done. Yeah, yeah. We'll drive out the empire from yeah. this land that what you we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take What do you want? You might want to talk some sense into her. With the rumors going around about how All poorly your guild's been break. doing, you she's become much king. too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Help me convince her. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. I can do that. If you'll excuse me. I have other things to attend. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Are you ready to pay for a brand new? What you owe? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. I've been smelling it since I walked in. Jaga. Okay. Let's see what's on the menu. Hmm. 
No. Looks like there's just the regular Nord stuff. Well, something in here smells like dagger. What is it anyway? Some kind of meat? Sort of. It's fermented pig meat and honey. Makes you tipsy fast. <laughs> well, I think you may be smelling their cheese wheels. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should whistle the farm and more rent. How could you possibly know about... Ways, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. They pay up and I'll forget about it. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Early in the morning. Hey, even I can get tired every now and then. Finally, a place to just relax. Now, what did you want? we got the How message. Now just take your business elsewhere. I'll do just that. <laughs> I can't pay. I can't. If I had it, I'd pay. There's no need to do that. I can't pay. I can't. So, are we looking to buy something or just selling oh, no. spoils? You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? I have a message for oh, Brynjolf's. There's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look, I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here, take it. I hope you're here for f oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Do you have anything useful, though? Kind of useful, I guess. Um, Don't you have anything? <sighs> okay. I hope Brynjolf chokes on his gold. Uh. What are you doing that for? You know, just because. You. You are the harbinger of the companions. It is my honor to stand before you. Ooh, don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Uh, I'm sorry. Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over here. Protect yourself, Buy armor from Grelka. Skyrim cities are nice and all, but do they walk? I mean, are we? No, they don't. Obviously. Didn't one of my companions die here?
哦。Yes, my friend. So, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Thanks for checking in. Hmm. Efrain's blessings. Yo, so I got your gold. So, job's done, and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Here's the gold. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. What's next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. I have to ask. What's on your mind? Well, where does your outfit isn't doing well? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll tell you what. You keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjolf first. We can talk later. Sure. Uh, where are we going? Some room. Okay, I forgot about this room, which looks really good. Let's wait until Brynjolf's here before we begin. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. I like that. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand, whatever. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. They're not talking about golden cloud. Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses oh, yes. an aptitude. Well, not all of them, of course. You're thinking of the Gratox. Well, one of our I bet that's something to see. However, the it is. There's nothing like it, really. Maybe we could go there sometime, you and I. You could show me around, show me the trees. No. Mercer. Sorry, I didn't mean to impose. I just thought it would be nice. It would, but I can't. I... I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm sorry, Ari. I didn't mean to bring up bad memories. The memories aren't Welcome bad. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Oh, I see. But I, I do like talking about Valenwood, remembering it. Just maybe later. Yeah, of course, Ari. Later. Cute. Nigo, I think they're kinda together now. So how do I get my card off the spores? Simple. 
Do as you're told. I totally listened to all you said. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Hey, I'm not done talking to you yet. Come back here. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Makes sense. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. What should I do about Arangov? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. How do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, Nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. This all looks very hush hush. Why not level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar meadery, which would cut into her profits. Uh, someone's paying me to maybe Blackbriar's horse. Well, lad, I do just as well drawing a blade across my own neck. Where did this foolish request come from? To be Blackbriar? Huh. So Sibby finally got the nerve to bear his teeth, eh? Look, this sounds like a family matter, and I don't want the guild in the middle of it. You do what you want. Just don't expect us at your back when Maven has your head on the executioner's block. Maven Blackbriar is the eventual client? We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. So, how dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. <coughs> Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you can spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Oh, I'm not too worried. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. What island? Or oh, whatever. are on you, Vlad. Don't disappoint us. Got a minute? Wanted to say something. I've never seen anyone with skills like yours. I just wanted to let you know that if you need anything, you can talk to me. That's nice. My father told me he found me as a young boy in the wreckage of a ship that sank off of the coast near Solitude. All he found in my pocket was a tiny smooth stone inscribed with some sort of strange runes. You know what they mean? No one does. I've even taken the damn thing to the College of Winterhold. I must have spent every last coin I've made with the guild trying to find out what it means. Maybe you aren't meant to know. Perhaps. They could be nonsense. Inane scribbles done by someone in idle boredom. But if not, if they actually mean something, they might tell me where I'm from, what ship I was on, everything. Maybe. So who gave you the name? Actually, Bosna, the fisherman who found me, the man I call my father David, thought it was fitting, I suppose. I never changed it because it never felt right to do so. I'll keep an eye out for anything. Keep to the shadows. You're making waves around here. I like that. If you ever want to talk about anything, you let me know. Know anything about Golden Glow Estate? 
I wouldn't bother smacking at those hives with a weapon. Set them on fire, and they'll go up like kindling. Yeah, I had that before. Up to no good, are we? I'll teach you, but it'll cost you. Things to do than disturb me. Yeah. Hey, you're pretty tough. I respect that. Bringing in a lot of coin for the guild, making us look good too. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. To so be a part of Bandicland? I joined up with them maybe ten years ago. Small clan, maybe twenty men. We'd raid villages, rob caravans, but it was always about the killing for them. But not for you? Don't get me wrong. The first few years with that clan were some of the best years of my life. All the food I could eat, all the wine I could drink, and all the women I could bed. What changed? We raided a caravan one spring. I think it was a few wagons with some farmers moving to a new village. They didn't put up much of a fight. All that was left were the women and the children. Then the leader of our clan, Garthek, he ordered us to kill the rest. You never had to do that before? No, we usually let them go. I refused to do it, and Garthek ordered the clan to kill me as well. What a dick! I had made some friends with the clan who immediately sided with me. We tore each other to pieces. After it was over, those of us that remained simply went our separate ways. Garthek? I left his head on a pike at the wreckage of the caravan. Never knew what became of the rest of the clan that survived. I suppose they moved on just like I did. Go and pick some fights. Well, do, buddy. Can you give me a thief's outfit, though? Uh Hey Ari, can I ask you something about the Bosna? Of course. Is it true that you can well disappear? Huh? Oh, you are speaking of forest coupling, yes? Didn't I hear yeah, that before? If that's what you call it. How does it work? You just step into the shadow under a tree. And then don't come out again. Not until you wish to, anyway. That's it. It's not some kind of illusion magic or a potion or... Nope. Just you and the trees. And leaving your enemy bleeding Wait. on the ground before they can see you're there. Wow. I'm glad you're on our side then. <laughs> don't worry, Serana. I like being on your side. Let's hope it stays that way. I certainly wouldn't like to be on the other end. Need something? Yes. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Until next time. So Before we begin, recruit, I want to make two things perfectly well, clear. Looks like you and I are gonna have to One, very well I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. Hey, take it and easy. Two, you follow my lead and do exact. Easy, huh? So, should I just hand you purses of coin, or are you gonna work to earn your keep? Let me give you a small bit of advice. Nothing in this line of work is easy. If it was, every drag in the rat way would be robbing Rift and Blind. If something's being handed to you on a silver platter, then there's a catch. Steal the platter instead. You get it? Okay, shut up. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. 
What sort of business? We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? We can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Mm-hmm. Is this unusual gem worth anything? It's been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. You sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them... I wouldn't dream of. I'm not really hungry, I'm just looking for... I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Why is that? Why is that? Is there anything you don't charge for? Understood. What do you g give me for these?
What is this arena? Correction, the beetles are used for perfume. I'll try to. Wait, wait. Okay, I see, I see. Wait just a gosh damn minute. 